Artemis 1 tomorrow. Now is a good time to take stock in the way space exploration has actually impacted us all. As Chief Meteorologist Betsy Kling reports, you might be surprised as how NASA's innovations as well as inventions have become a part of our everyday lives. With a vision to explore the secrets of the universe for the benefit of all, NASA's number one mission isn't to get men and women back to the moon and on to Mars. Their mission statement is to explore the unknown in air and space, innovate for the benefit of humanity, and inspire the world through discovery. And with their discovery comes an abundance of benefits for all of us. Aside from fun, freeze-dried foods, satellite TV, and the GPS that keeps you going in the right direction, and COVID battling air purifiers, LED lighting, exercise equipment, and insulation for every kind of application and environment, you can definitely say NASA technology is a part of your everyday life. As a matter of fact, you may have NASA innovation in the palm of your hand right now. From the circuitry inside to the network that carries the signal, cell phones are what they are today because of technology developed by NASA. And the technology that gave us this picture of Buzz Aldrin standing on the moon, or the stunning images of nebula in distant galaxies, or our first looks at the surface of Mars, it's the same technology in your cell phone that you use to take a selfie. But you have so much more space in your life than you realize. If there's one thing we all appreciate, it's being comfortable. And many are, thanks to NASA's development of Temper Foam to improve comfort and crash survivability for passenger jets and space shuttles. When NASA made the formula available to the public, two Scandinavian countries merged to become Tempur-Pedic. Memory foam is used in everything from bedding and furniture to shoes, clothes, even earplugs. In an effort to keep astronauts comfortable in the extremes of space, NASA looked to phase change materials known as PCMs that would absorb and release heat inside a spacesuit. The microcapsule PCMs ended up not being the right fit for astronauts, but have found their way into athletic wear, sleeping bags, and underwear, and it's become a lifesaver for low birth weight infants around the world. The same microelectronics developed for vibration control during stress testing of space hardware during launch and reentry came in handy when it came time to develop digital controls for tankless water heaters. The coding for those microcontrollers is similar to commands developed for shuttle missions and allows for the water to be at the right temperature without using excessive energy. NASA innovation has led to medical breakthroughs for imaging, sutures, and biometric analysis. Yep, that wellness monitor on your wrist is a commercial usage of NASA tech. The list is seemingly endless, but the innovation and invention will never stop. So who knows where NASA will take us or how they will help us in the future. Well, Betsy will bring us reports through the weekend and obviously on launch day, which is tomorrow. And we're going to conclude tomorrow with a very half hour special for you for this new era of space travel. Join us for Inside Artemis to the Moon and Beyond tomorrow, Monday, August 29th at 730 right here on Channel 3.